All right, welcome back to AP Statistics. Again, I'm not affiliated with the College Board. I teach at a high school where I'm known as Dr. Kling. And we're on lesson number nine, and this is Bayes' Theorem. I just want to review all the stuff that we've been talking about. We're talking about two events, not necessarily independent. Maybe I ought to write that down. Two events, not necessarily necessarily independent and uh, the events I've been using in my example are uh, I'm calling event A uh, Redskins make the playoffs, event B the coach gets fired and I made up these probabilities 0.3 for the Redskins making the playoffs uh, 0.4 for the coach getting fired, things like that. And then I've defined the probability of A given B, that's a conditional probability, if B is true, what's the probability that A is true? And I said that's the probability of A and B divided by the probability of B. On the other hand, we have the probability of B given A is the probability of A and B given the probability of A. And now I'm going to ask you to prove Bayes' theorem. In a moment I'll ask you to pause the video and see if you can do this. It's, what I want you to do is solve for the probability of A and B, A given B, sorry, the conditional probability of A given B, that is if the coach is fired, has been fired, what's the probability that they made the playoffs? In, ter in terms of the probability of B given A probability of B, probability of A, but with, without the, using the probability of A and B. So use these two equations, get rid of the probability of A and B, and solve for another way of finding the probability of A given B. Okay, now pause and go ahead and do that. Okay, assuming you're back, Hopefully you did something like this. You, if you you take this equation and use algebra, you can you can take this probability of a that's in the denominator here and multiply it over here. This is the general multiplication rule. And we get this. The probability of a and b is equal to the probability of of A times the probability of B given A. Okay, so now we have something for the probability of A and B that we're going to just substitute back up here. So this is going to be the simplest proof in the world. So we ha so starting over here on the left side, we have probability of A given B is equal to, and now we'll substitute for the probability of A and B, we'll substitute this stuff probability of A times the probability of B given A. And now we've, we've got the denominator here, probability of B. And that's our answer. This is what's known as Bayes' theorem. It says that if, if you know the conditional probability of B given A, which in our case was what? That's the probability the coach is fired if they make the playoffs. If you then multiply that by the relative probabilities of making the playoffs versus uh, the coach getting fired, you can then get the reverse conditional probability of if you found out that the coach was fired, what would that tell you about the probability that they made the playoffs? Again, that's known as Bayes' theorem, and we're done with that. Next time we'll go on to independent events, determining whether an event events are independent positively related or negatively related.